and Michael is based on a true story, and it's about a gay activist who becomes an anti-gay Christian pastor. Um, but the film's much, uh, it's much less so about you know sexuality um, and homosexuality. It's really about like identity and belief, and perception, uh, and it's kind of about like the extremes that some people are willing to go in order to you know follow a certain belief or you know to be perceived as something that they decided they're not. I wanted to make this film. I mean, it's not not necessarily you know I didn't know it'd be my first, but yeah. But, but either way, I wanted to. Um, I wanted to make this film because I think it's really like the, the kind of film that would start a, that will start a conversation. You know, it's sort of like we strived to tell his story in uh, as non-judgmental a way as possible because we could have made a film that proves that uh, you know this former gay man who's now married to a woman is lying or still gay, or you know a Christian director could have made the film that proves that gay people can be straight. And we didn't, you know, we're not interested in either one. So um, it, it was more so about kind of like really digging deep and trying to find out what led this one person to go from one extreme to the other. And I just found it such an interesting subject matter. And a lot of films that I, like short films that I made and other films that I love, uh, tend to deal with identity. And kind of specifically, um, I'm drawn to the more severe ones where I see people who want to be someone else or be perceived as someone else, you know? Um, and uh, the responses thus far, I, I feel like it's, you know, kind of like working in terms of starting a conversation. The film is, is uh, based on a New York Times article called My Ex-Gay Friend by Benoit Denise Lewis. And, but, you know, it's a very short article. So it kind of had, like, the, okay. the juicy parts of the story were in the article, but then we had to, uh, or I did a lot of research to kind of find the heart of the story. Um, you know, because I, th I think as with any film based on a true story, there's a kind of simple, brief, tabloid logline. In this case, you know, a gay man goes straight, and then there's the real story. So it just took a lot of research. The first big research trip was going to meet the real Michael Glass in Wyoming. And at the time, he was in uh, his last year of Bible school. So he was pretty uh, extreme at that point, still, you know, pretty very anti-gay and kind of cold. Um, he's since changed. But um, yeah, I met him and interviewed him over one night and then one morning. And it was a pretty intense experience because he you know, knew that James and Gus were involved. But uh, you know, it was his first time meeting me. So then he realized that a gay director was going to tell his story. And obviously that changes things. But I just uh, spoke with him honestly about what I wanted to do and the angle and the approach. And he understood and appreciated it. Um, and then just two days ago, he saw the film himself. Uh, he and his wife watched it for the first time. They never read a script, the script or anything, um, and they actually loved it. Which is, on the one hand, really exciting, and on the other hand, like a little bit bizarre. <laughs> if there are any concerns about the film sort of showing a gay man successfully becoming straight, which, which could, could be seen as dangerous, I don't see it that way because the film is really, it's, it's barely even about that. It's really about like, it's just one person, and it's about the sequence of events that led up to, you know, his decision to change, and it was a decision. Um, and I think once you see the film, I feel like people will understand where we're coming from. But for Michael to sort of, like, applaud the film might make people think that, you know, he was more involved, or that we're showing his version, or that the ending is proving that anyone gay can become straight, and that's not the angle. But, you know... But at the same time, we all did from day one, from three years ago, uh, from the very first meeting about this, the whole point was to tell the story honestly and without judgment. And we all thought that, that would make a much more interesting film. So, you know, the fact that he likes the film is like, we asked for it, I guess. <laughs>